What a mess. You think it's over? Hmm. Zetrox is finished. The Protectorate Peacemaker should arrive any second now. They can't take care of Cortec at the same time, but Cortec is finished anyway. Yep, I think we're done. And the colonists? What about them? They made quite a mess. They're sitting on Chrome, and they know very well what that means. They'll probably hook up with some new Spacon and keep doing their thing. Hmm, either way, I'm glad we got out of this whole mess. Maybe now you can start thinking rationally and we can take a normal job. Any ideas? You come up with something. We can go to this Hubble Nebula of yours, or wherever you wish. That would be nice. We earned a lot of money. Maybe it's time for a nice vacation. Just not in the tropics, if you don't mind. I guess snowy places are out of the question, too. It's nice to see you again, Logan. I'm sorry I can't say the same. Ah, yes. Our last meeting took place in unpleasant circumstances. I suggest we forget about that. What do you say? We have a chance to start all over. My employers would like to offer you a job. <laughs> That's a good one. Are you all right? The cops will come to visit you in a couple of hours. I'd be packing my bags if I were you. You underestimate us, Logan. We are an extremely wealthy corporation. We also have a lot of friends in the Protectorate. If you're talking about the data that you stole from us, well, we got that back. The Protectorate doesn't know about anything, officially, that is. You're bluffing. It's no bluff, just the power of Zetrox. You can become a power of that, too. So let's get down to business, shall we? We're planning to resettle the colonists from Turban, peacefully, of course, if you help us. They will receive adequate compensation and will legally take over the area we are interested in. Unfortunately, we're expecting a desperate attack by Cortec. They're going down with little to lose. We'd like your help protecting the Turban colony. What do you say? I say kiss my ass. Your aversion toward our company is strange. Is it because we play hard? We do indeed, but we don't lie. Our rules are hard, but clear. That's the truth. You should know best. We're offering one million, with assurance that nothing will happen to the colonists. If you care about that, of course. Think about it. Just think quickly. Goddamn corporations. You think it's true? The thing she said about the Protectorate? You think they can get out of this one? Heck, if this is the truth... Damn it. I wonder if it's who I think it is. Mr. Logan, we don't want to delude you. Really? Is that a new company policy? That's why I'll get straight to the point. We have a job for you. But first, let me decrease any hesitation you might have. Two million for a job that's like a walk in the park for you. The objective is to eliminate John Brown, the chief of colonists, and give a good lesson to the Turban people so anyone surviving won't want to stick around. They deserve punishment, don't you agree? They lied to you, too. And one more thing, if two million is not enough, <laughs> we know all about your past, mister. We have plenty of incriminating materials on you which Protectorate would love to see. You don't have to answer right away. I understand this is a very difficult decision. Leave your emotions at the door and make a decision that will influence the rest of your life. What a mess! What do you think about all this? I'm gonna get some sleep. John Brown? Great. I see everyone is here. We just got an ultimatum from Zetrox. We have to leave the colony within 24 hours, or they'll move us by force. You want my advice? Move. We can't give up. This is our home. My mother died here. We will defend our home. All right, buddy. You probably already know about the chrome. There's no need to keep it a secret anymore. We have huge deposits of chrome worth a lot of money. You know, we could become partners. So, will you help us? Why should I believe you this time? Just because we didn't tell you about the chrome? What did you expect us to do? 
Look around you, Logan. Don't you see the world you live in? Please. Help us. We won't make it without you. We're all gonna die. Please. Come on. I knew it. I knew this can't end well. Okay, guy, what are we gonna do? Get me Cortec. What? Tell me you're kidding. You'd slaughter the colonists for those bastards from Cortec? I made my decision. Get me Cortec. Get them yourself. Screw you. Our partnership's over. I'm sorry, Logan, but you can't go any farther. Go back while you still can!
I'm right behind you. I misjudged you, Logan. You're just a common criminal for hire. You're surprised we kept our secret? You're a murderer. I can see it in your eyes. You selfish bastard! You'll pay for this!
Mr. Logan, I would like to congratulate you. That was a terrific operation. Mr. Pointer couldn't have done it better himself. By the way, as you probably know, Mr. Pointer vacated his position, which leaves it open for you, actually. It's a lifetime opportunity. It might interest you to know that we managed to talk things over with the Protectorate. What's more, our lawyers found a way to get rid of Zetrox, not only from Turban, but the entire Valkyria system as well. It's a matter of one, maybe two weeks. Surely you understand. Paperwork. Mr. Logan? Hello? Mr. Logan, can you hear me? <laughs>